Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you could find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. Today's video is the second in what may be a two or a three part little mini series, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how much footage I get for this as to whether the project gets completed in this vlog or if there's another one to come. A few weeks ago, I started doing some fibre prep and I made this basket of fluffy blended bats. And I'll pop a link to the video up above or down below somewhere. And I'm joining in with the lovely Carrie of My Wool Mitten is hosting a spin for socks make along. And as far as I can remember, it's fairly low key. Lots of people have been spinning and making their socks, but you can kind of take as long as you want to, I think. It's just a fun go at your own pace kind of make along, just to trying to encourage people to spin and knit for socks. Carrie's hosted this for the last couple of years and I really wanted to join in last year and I just didn't find the time. So this year I almost passed again, but I really, really wanted to join in the sock spin, spinning and knitting fun. So I am making some time this year. <laughs> I think I'm a little behind where a lot of other people are but as I say it's quite a low stress work at your own pace kind of make along. So in the first part of my video I explain that I have some alpaca fibre in my stash and I've got a bit of an alpaca sensitivity now but I wanted to use the alpaca so I decided to blend it up inspired by Carrie herself who often uses a blend of alpaca and wool for her own sock spinning to see if this kind of blend will suit me for socks. I definitely can't wear alpaca anywhere near my face anymore. It starts making me itch and um, yeah. <laughs> so sadly, it's not a fibre I can use very often, but I wanted to try and use this fibre because it was a fabulous gift from a viewer of the channel, the lovely Helen, who lives all the way over in Tasmania, and has her own herd of alpacas. So I blended mine up with some blue face Lester naturally dyed Blue Face Leicester from Nellie and Eve, a dyer here in Wales. And so I came up with a basket of bats and I'm ready to embark on my spin. It's taken me a little bit longer to get to this point than I hoped, but I'm working on lots of different projects and yeah, it's just been something that <laughs> I've been meaning to do. So now is the time. I'm going to weigh out all of my bats before I actually start spinning. Um, I'm not sure if this will be enough fibre for my socks. I'm aiming, I think, to spin a DK weight. I'm really in the mood at the moment for some slightly squishier socks. It's really cold here in South Wales today, hence why I'm wearing a hat, cowl and <laughs> woolly jumper inside. I'm up in my craft attic and although there are heaters up here I don't put them on very often so yeah it's pretty chilly day here at the beginning of March so double knit socks some thicker weight socks sound really appealing to me at the moment so yeah time to hit the spinning wheel I'm going to be spinning these on my vintage spinning wheel my treadle wheel she's a Haldane Shetland and I love her to bits she's a little bit finicky sometimes um, and she's pretty good at spinning a sport to DK weight yarn so I thought it would be the perfect excuse to put her to work and spin through this fibre so yeah without further ado I'm going to weigh these out so I know what I'm playing with at the start and then we're gonna hopefully get spinning today I've weighed out all of my fibres and I've got this tag that came with the fibre from Nellie and Eve and it just lets me know that it's BFL, um, the Firelight colourway, and I've blended them with, so I've made a note on the tag that I've blended them with 25% alpaca from Moss Vale Alpacas. And then on the other side of the tag, I've just made a note of how much my fibres weigh. So I've got 21 grams of the brown, 22 grams of the yellow, and 73 grams of the pink. So about 115, 16 grams of fibre altogether. So I'm hoping that will be plenty to make socks. I've spun 100 gram braids of fibre into about a sport DK weight before and they have been enough for socks for me so I'm hoping I've got plenty of fibre in the mix to get going with. I was tempted to start with the pink fibre because that is the fibre that I've got the most of. However, I think I'm going to start with this peachy yellowy colour first. This is the colour that I'm kind of least excited about. <laughs> I mean I love them all but this is my least favourite from the batch and I'm really kind of hoping almost that I can get away with making my socks from the brown and the pink. So I'm almost using 
this as a little bit of a sample just to make sure that I get into the spinning and I'm spinning the sort of thickness that I want for this yarn. Time to stop waffling and start the spinning. I shouldn't put this so close to my face because <laughs> I'm gonna start getting itchy with the alpaca, but it's so squishy and soft, it's kind of hard to resist. <laughs> I'm going to beg your forgiveness for the mess that surrounds me, um, which you might be able to see from some of the shots once we get spinning. I've got a whole stack of fleeces in pillowcases this side of me waiting to be spun. Um, I've got some bats and other fibres that I'm spinning my way through on my spindles on the other side of me and then I've got a basket of spindles and yeah it's just chaos in this little spinning corner but hey ho it's creative mess so I don't mind um, and I hope you will forgive me for that too. <laughs> right I'm just getting my wheel set up now bringing my leader through the orifice here I'm not going to do anything fancy at all I think just to start with until I get a feel for what's going on I'm just going to open up this bat and tear a little bit of a strip off the side of it and just spin from the strip I've got some sparkle <laughs> that's made its way into the bat somehow honestly once you start doing a little bit of fibre prep sparkle goes everywhere if you work with any Angelina fibres they just get into everything <laughs> So I'm winding my leader on a bit. I've got so much fibre stuck to the end of this leader. I really need to put a new leader on this uh, wheel. Let's try and get rid of some of the gunk in the end there. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my fibre, loop it through my leader. And I'm not going to worry about getting this first bit spun particularly evenly. I just want to get it onto the bobbin so that we're ready to go. going to loosen down my tension a little bit that felt like a little bit hard work to get it to wind onto the bobbin and I'm just going to start spinning away and hopefully we'll get something that we're reasonably happy with I'm not the fastest of spinners um, neither my feet nor my hands are particularly fast um, and as I'm getting going at the start of my spin I definitely tend to work quite slowly till I get a feel for what's what. I'm getting a few bits of VM, vegetable matter, in this fibre as we go along. I'm not sure if that's from the alpaca or from the blue face ester, but it's kind of fun to have that reminder that these are beautiful natural fibres that we're working with. This spinning quite easily, fairly evenly, um, a little bit gently thick and thin I would say but that's probably mostly down to my blending I didn't do too much work in terms of blending this on the blending board it's a as I said earlier roughly 75% wool 25% alpaca and I just popped it through the carder once or twice I can't even remember so it's been a few weeks that have passed but I'm sure I mentioned how many times it went through the card on the first part of the video so okay I've spun a little bit so I might just do a quick little plied sample with that I haven't obviously let this rest but we'll see what kind of yarn that we're getting we're not going to be wasting too much here I've probably spun a couple of grams at most So I'm not even bothering doing a proper plying bracelet. Put that back through the wheel the other way. I'm lucky enough to have several beautiful, beautiful orifice hooks that were made for me by my lovely friend Caroline of Colourful Creativity. And um, if you follow Caroline, you may be aware that she makes her own glass beads from time to time. And the orifice hook that currently is living on my Haldane is this beauty. Hopefully you can see that it's not the best of light today. We are still in winter, although spring is trying to emerge. Okay, oops. I'm trying to spin away and I haven't actually. I took the drive band off of my 
bobbin when I was winding it off and then I forgot to put it back on okay let's ply this little bit up and see what sort of yarn we're getting this is a really rough idea of what our final yarn's going to be like because I haven't let the singles rest at all it's literally just as you've seen straight on and off the bobbin but hopefully it will give us a little idea of what we can get without really putting in too much effort in terms of trying to change the yarn I'm just letting the wheel do its thing I don't know if there's even enough to make a mini skein here but we'll give it a go not quite I could have done with doing a slightly bigger sample maybe let me just find something to wrap this round because it's not big enough to make a mini skein everything I've got near me is a beigey brownie colour which is not going to show this up very well okay, so I've very poorly and awkwardly wrapped this around a card so I'm pretty happy with that I may consider putting a little bit more twist into that in the plying because obviously I want my socks to be reasonably hard wearing um, in terms of thickness I do have a commercial a bit of commercial DK weight yarn next to me in this lovely orange surprise surprise and just by eye they're not too far away so I would say my yarn is obviously before washing a light DK maybe a heavy sport weight so I think that's going to be exactly what I'm aiming for I knew my lovely Edith my Haldane wheel would come through for me without too much effort so yeah I'm pretty happy that without any adjustments really I can crack on with the spinning so no excuses now <laughs> I've just got to work my way through it so let's get going with that I think I'll just carry on with this colour and actually I'm liking this colour much more now that I've spun it up than in the bat it's lost some of that uh, strange sort of peachy air that it has about it and it's more like a um, sort of hay kind of colour I would say we went last weekend to the Cotswolds with our friends and we stayed on a lake and this is kind of reminding me of those um, rushes that you get by by a lake those sorts of colours in the winter so yeah I think I'm going to be quite happy with this just for fun I think I'm going to put a timer on for half an hour and see how much of my bat I can get through in that time by that time it'll also be lunchtime here for me be a good excuse to move away from my wheel get some food have a break from spinning once I get started on my spins it's hard for me to drag myself away and I can end up sitting for longer than is probably good for me so it'll be good to put a limit on myself for starters yay we're underway and the fact that I'm aiming for a DK yarn means I can spin my singles slightly thicker so hopefully this spin will get done a little bit quicker than it might otherwise okay let's put this timer on Ange otherwise you're just gonna sit and spin <laughs> stop See, it's just addictive isn't it once you start stop 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 Have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best friends. Yeah. And now 
we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mine I've been working a little bit every day over the last couple of days and I've got my first quantity of fibre spun up onto my two bobbins. I was going to continue to spin and just move into the next colours because as you can see my bobbins aren't very full and in fact you can see the leaders poking through on both of those. It's only 10 grams of fibre on each bobbin approximately. But I thought actually instead of doing that I would ply this up and wash and finish my yarn just to make sure that I am 100% happy with it before carrying on with the other two colours. I want to make sure I'm getting about the, the thickness that I want. So my Haldane Shetland wheel has a built-in Lazy Kate so I'm just going to pop these two onto the Kate and ply them up and then my first colour of the three colours will be done. Yeah. And maybe we could try it next week again But I don't want to think what's happening But who cares You said that we're all My first colour for my sock spin is finished completely, so plied and washed and dried. And I'm happy with how it's turned out. I've definitely got the sort of heavy sport light DK weight that I had hoped to for my socks. And so I'm just going to carry on and spin through the rest of the yarn now. I'm happy to say that I haven't had any issues spinning this blend. This amount of alpaca has not caused me any problems so I'm feeling hopeful that this is going to be a great project for using up that really special alpaca. Obviously the true test will come in the wearing of it on my feet but I'm fairly confident this is going to work out. She says famous last words. <laughs> so I just need to now knuckle down and get on to spinning the other two colours. I'm feeling really enthusiastic for this project now. I want to get on to the sock knitting which yeah given that my sock knitting mojo has been sadly lacking for a few months is a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, so yeah, I need to stop talking to you, get on with my day so that I can finish my work day <laughs> and get on with some more spinning later. I'm going to try and do a little bit of spinning on this each day now until it's finished. Over the last few days I've been trying to build in a practice of spinning for about half an hour each day on my wheel for this sock spin and I've only got a teeny tiny little bit of pink left to spin. Well when I say a teeny t tiny bit what I mean is on my first bobbin. I've been working through my pink bats by literally just picking up the bat and ripping them in half by eye so I've not been weighing or measuring I'm just trying to do a rough 50-50 split and so yeah I've got a little bit of pink left to do but my bobbin has still got plenty of space on it so what I think I'm going to do today is spin through the rest of this pink and then I'm going to split this bat in half and actually I can just show you what I've been doing with the previous bats with this one I've just been opening up the bats and roughly finding a midpoint not being very scientific and just splitting them apart and reserving one half to spin to one bobbin and the other to spin to the first bobbin. So yeah, I think I'm going to finish spinning the pink and then I'm gonna spin the brown directly on top of the pink and then I'll do the same for the second bobbin. Mm -hmm. 
I finished spinning my singles so I just need to let them rest now before I can ply them up. I don't think I did the best job at dividing my bats by eye. This second bobbin seems quite a lot fuller than the first one. Just trying to reach for the first one. There's definitely more space on this one. I think I might have messed up when I took a break from spinning the pink and I might have just confused one of my quantities and added more pink to this bobbin. I'm not really worried at all because I'm planning on two plying this yarn. What I'll do is I will ply my yarn up until one of the singles runs out and then whatever's left on one of my bobbins I shall wind up into a centre pool ball and then ply from that centre pool ball so that there'll be no waste it will all get used up and because this is a solid or a semi-solid kind of colour it's not going to matter too much um, me kind of mixing my plies that way there's no colour progression to keep or anything to interrupt really so yeah I'm getting closer to finishing this yarn which I'm really looking forward to because then I can finally get to the bit that we've all been waiting for at least I've been waiting for <laughs> which is to knit the socks and see how they turn out We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again But I don't wanna think what's us but who cares? You said that we're over Hands under covers alone This time But everything I see My yarns are finished, a few days have passed and my yarns have been gently drying away after they had their little soak and wash and now I have three fabulous skeins of Blue Face Leicester and Alpaca Blend ready to knit up into socks. I've definitely achieved my sort of sport to DK weight yarn. Um, this is super soft and so far I am pleased to say that working with the Alpaca in this slightly sort of smaller percentage has been okay for me. So I haven't felt myself kind of itching or <laughs> getting that sort of dusty nose kind of feeling too much so I'm feeling reasonably optimistic that working these up into some socks will really work for me. I love how these colours are looking together and it's kind of fun to see how that lovely brown colour of the alpaca has changed the colours in the naturally dyed fibre and it's also kind of brought them together because there's that lovely warm brown undertone to all of these now. I'm kind of really looking forward to getting these on the needles now to see what this yarn looks like in knitted fabric and how those colours are going to knit up and play together. The next step will be for me to pop these on the needles, probably need to do a little bit of swatching to play around with needle size and figure out what best gauge to knit these up for socks obviously I want something that's going to be fairly tight and hard wearing but I'm going to need to play around to find out exactly what needle size that is going to be with these three I think the only other thing I will say before I wrap up this second part of this little mini series is it was kind of interesting to me that this brown fiber the darker brown was a lot less soft in the spinning than the pink and this, I want to call this hay because it reminds me of um, just kind of straw bales or hay bales. Um, these two were pretty soft. Um, this one was, um, it's not scratchy, but it definitely did not have the same feel to the hand as these two. So I wonder if it was something in the dye materials that affected how the yarn felt, or maybe this came from a slightly different part of a sheep. Um, if you've ever worked with raw 
fleeces you'll know that from any one fleece um, different parts of the fleece can feel slightly different to the touch so yeah I don't think it's going to make too much difference in the knitting but yeah I just thought it was an interesting observation and an interesting question for me to think about whether it was something to do with the dye stuffs and the dye technique or whether it was just a different fleece or a different part of the fleece all these things that can affect how our yarns feel are endlessly fascinating to me anyway three yarns made i'll put in a shot of the yarns laid out so you can see them without me waving them <laughs> around and moving them around the screen i have really enjoyed this process i'm now really excited to cast on and hopefully end up with some lovely socks so thank you so much for watching the video part two i'll be back with a part three at some point um, where I follow on the journey of knitting up these socks and once again thank you to the lovely Carrie from My Wool Mitten for the inspiration to play with this blend. Let me know in the comments below um, have you been joining in with the Spin for Socks 23? Have you finished your socks? I know that I am quite behind in the scheme of things. The official knit along has come and gone but I am still going to continue on through and work on my socks at my own gentle pace so are you doing the same have you finished your socks are you embarking on your own spin for socks journey do let me know in the comments below what blends you're using what patterns you're using I love to be inspired by all of the things that the lovely folks out there in the yarn yarns community and in youtube yeah, and in youtube land are making so yeah please let me know thank you so much for watching this video um, for liking the channel for subscribing for helping to support the content i make by donating via my coffee link or joining up to become a regular donator via patreon all those things really do help me to continue to set aside the time that i need to make these videos i will be back again soon with some more making content here on the channel so i hope you will join me for the next video but until we do get to spend time together again i hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy great big woolly hugs to you all bye for now bye